Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm here today with a quick jailbreak update video, but I do have some awesome news for you guys regarding a new iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak demo that actually has the potential of being released to the public this time. Yeah. So like the title says, yet another iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak demonstration has been performed, this time by the developer named Sorry My Bad. Now if you guys remember or recognize this name, it's because I've talked about him on my channel before. In the past, he has posted about an iOS 11.3 jailbreak, thus it's not surprising he's back again today, demonstrating an iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. Now this developer in the past has been proven to be legitimate and in just a second I'll get into why I believe this jailbreak actually has the potential of being released to the public. So from what I've gathered this jailbreak looks to be created by Sorry My Bad who was a part of the 360 Vulcan jailbreak team. Now taking a look at what he posted on Twitter, the tweet gives a shout out to the 360 Vulcan team as well as to Morpheus for his help in this as well. So attached on the tweet is this video. The video basically shows us what version of iOS he's running and then he enters a jailbreak application which essentially looks very similar to the Yalu jailbreak. So many I'm sure are wondering why I think this jailbreak is actually going to be released. Well, there are a ton of clues in this video, starting right here with the jailbreak's user interface. It not only shows who the jailbreak was developed by, but it also gives the Twitter and Weibo links at the bottom to his official pages, and it even gives an explanation as to what this application does. Now, why would the developer go through all the trouble to create this user interface that essentially looks like it's intended for an end user? I mean, there is no purpose of creating this interface for himself or for his team. They already know all this information. Just this being present is a huge sign that this jailbreak is intended to be distributed publicly. Anyway, once he clicks jailbreak, it goes through the process of jailbreaking his device, and once he restarts, the city icon as well as the mobile terminal icon is present on the home screen. He then goes on to run a few terminal commands, again this probably has something to do with the initialization of Cydia, and then once he does that, he now can enter Cydia and have it successfully launched on his device running iOS 11.3.1. But again, if we look at his home screen, there is also this app called Project Moon right between Cydia and the mobile terminal application, which I believe is the actual jailbreak utility. Furthermore, once Sorry My Bad enters the terminal app, again we can see an explanation of what is going on, which looks like it would be intended for the end user. It explains that this device has been jailbroken and to enable some of the more advanced features of the jailbreak, perform these steps below. Again, these steps would already be well known by the development team, thus these notes are obviously not there for them, so who and why are they there? My guess again would be for the end user once this jailbreak is released to the public. Again, at these stages, it's probably safe to assume that Cydia does not function properly, but it's amazing to see that it can at least launch and open up on his device. And taking a step back, this is just incredible news guys, iOS 11.3.1 now has been jailbroken by three independent parties, sorry my bad in today's video, but also by Min Zhang and Keen Lab. But again, why this jailbreak is so important is sorry my bad, although he seems to be a part of the 360 Vulcan team, he is the one developer that may actually release his vulnerabilities or exploits or release an entire jailbreak utility to the public. So now the question on everyone's mind, I'm sure, is when is this jailbreak going to be released? Well again, there is no mention of this jailbreak being publicly released, the developer did not give any ETA of said jailbreak, but on a positive note, there is also no word that he is not intending on releasing it. And given that there are no publicly available kernel level exploits, it's hard to give an exact ETA on when this or any iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak will be released. So with that being said, do not update to this new software in anticipation of jailbreaking just yet. Again, this is not a confirmed public jailbreak, but like I said earlier and all the points I've highlighted in this video, it has all the signs present that it could eventually be released. Again, there really isn't any information regarding what exploits and or what vulnerabilities were used to pull this jailbreak off. Some of them could even still be zero day vulnerabilities considering this is Apple's latest flagship software. So again guys, don't expect a public release immediately, but with three jailbreak demos out now for iOS 11.3.1, it's almost guaranteed that one is coming, but exactly when is hard to determine right now, so be patient and stay on the software that you are currently on. 
Again, regardless, even if they don't release this, this is now a third jailbreak on Apple's latest firmware being achieved by three independent parties. It just goes to show that iOS will in all actuality always have security flaws and will be able to be jailbroken. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. Before I go, I wanted to ask everyone out there, what version of iOS are you guys currently running? Are you jailbroken or have you been waiting a while on stock iOS for a new jailbreak? Feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section of this video. Anyway, when more news and developments surface, I'll promptly report on them. But until next time, guys, this is Tony signing out. Thank you all for watching. Again, don't forget to throw me a like if you enjoyed today's video and are excited for an iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified when a new jailbreak utility comes out.